Hello, you're listening to the voice of Scott, brass specialist and director of education at Rick's Musical Instruments Incorporated of Cumberland, Rhode Island. Today I'm going to be showing you viewers how to properly oil the valves on a trumpet. And of course, this information can be passed on to any other valved brass instrument. The materials you're going to need, of course, is a bottle of valve oil. And it's a very important that you use the recommended valve oil that comes from the manufacturer. One of the reasons it's important to use the uh, manufacturer recommended valve oil is because some manufacturers, due to the different materials in the valve construction, are either using uh, petroleum-based oils or synthetic oils. If you do need to make a switch, it's important to uh, make sure the trumpet is properly cleaned. Before actually changing the oil too, it's very important to have a cloth down such as this. Young kids who don't want to stain mom and dad's carpets with oil or our clothing. So a towel such as this might work. And also, it's very important too to have a cloth by which to clean the old oil off the valves. Uh, much like a car, we don't add fresh oil on top of the old oil. We make sure we drain that oil. So this is going to work in a, in a similar fashion. These little blue claws are microfiber claws that we sell here at Rick's Musical Instruments for only 99 cents. So it's great when you next stop by to get a few of those. Okay, so we're going to begin by taking a look at the instrument. And we're going to unscrew the top cap. The top valve cap. Notice I'm not unscrewing the finger button or the stem. These will unscrew if they're twisted at the top. You need to make sure you grip, grab here and twist at the valve cap counterclockwise and pull the valve straight out. Now one thing I'm going to try to show here is that all valves have something called valve guides, these little white pieces here. It's important to note this because when you go to line up the valve upon placing it back in the instrument, that valve and those valve guides are going to line up with the little notches. I don't know if it's kind of tough to see inside of there, but there are little notches inside um, the piston chamber. So we want to make sure to pay attention to that. We're going to begin by taking the valve and taking that nice cloth and just wrapping our hand with the cloth around the valve and just damping off the old oil. It's important not to rub back and forth or scrape really hard because if there's any dirt or grime or residue, that can actually score the valve and we don't want that to happen. Note above my thumb that there is a number on the valve. I also get, often get asked, how do you tell which valves go where? The numbers are etched in the valve. One is for, of course, the first valve, two for the second valve, three for the third valve. And on most manufacturers' horns, that number will face toward the mouthpiece receiver here when placed properly. Begin by oiling just the valve section itself from below the valve guides. And I'm applying a generous layer of oil, making sure to coat all those metal surfaces. I pick it up, I pick up the trumpet, I have the number facing toward the mouthpiece receiver, and I'm pushing the valve in straight, not forcing it, letting it fall in. Now again, I spoke of those valve guides and the notches earlier, so we'll make sure that they actually uh, get into those, the guides get into the notches. So listen carefully. And you should have just heard a little click. And that tells you that the valve guides are in the slots. And then we just simply put the valve cap back on, screwing clockwise and making sure it's a nice even steady mo movement so that we don't cross thread. And then you do the other valves the same. That, in a nutshell, is how to oil the valves on a trumpet or other brass instrument. Thanks for watching.